Dungeons are filled with traps, be it pitfalls, spikes, holes that breathe fire, or even a simple swing trap. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a very quick automated swing trap using Monk's Active Tile Triggers. The main module you'll need for this is Monk's Active Tile Trigger, and if you want to get even more automated, Monk's Token Bar for the ability to request rolls from your party. First thing you'll want to do is set up an active for your trap. For this example, we'll have one named Axe Trap. Now with that made, we're going to make a weapon for it. We'll call it Axe Swing. Now, my party is level 10, so I'm gonna give the attack a plus seven to hit, and I'll do 4d10 damage on said hit, making it fall under the dangerous category of traps. Now, with that done, we need to automate it. First, we'll create a tile. This is where a character will step on and cause the trap to fire. Now, with that place, we'll go to the settings and go to triggers to make sure it is set up to active, and the win condition is set to enter. Now, go to the action tabs here. We will add the attack action. In this menu, we will be setting the target as the triggering token, meaning the person who walked into the tile. And we will set the axe trap as the person attacking with the axe wing attack. And there you go. You now have a pretty simple trap set up. Now, here are some extra things you can do to make it even better. Now, do you want to automate perception checks for the trap you just made? Well, you'll need Monk's token bar for this next bit. First, make a new tile, a couple of squares away from the previously made tile. This is where your players will try to detect the trap from. Keep it the same settings until you get into the triggers. Here, you'll want to set up request rule in the dropdown. Use the triggering token again, then request a perception check. Add whatever DC you think is correct for the situation. Here, I'm using DC 14. Then set the roll mode to private roll results hidden make sure bypass dialog and auto roll are checked your players won't even know that they are rolling finally set the continue if to any past this will continue the sequence of events if anyone passed the dc set then we'll set it so the game pauses then shows the hidden trap then have a small chat blurb about the character finding the trap and that's all that there is to it tune in until next time